The idea of a surtax being introduced on homes valued a million dollars or higher has come into the ether and to the public conversation once again. So there was a study done uh, over in BC funded by CMHC of kind of could we deal with the surtax to be able to, you know, work on the housing inequities happening in the, in the country. The idea would be to introduce a surtax that would actually build up over the years and then be billed to you once you sell, so, which is like, and it would be only be taxed on anything above a million dollars if your house is valued that high. People, uh, this is, again, this was a study that was done about two and a half years ago, January of 2022. But has since come back into the conversation because, well, after all the stuff that happened with, you know, Toronto St. Paul's, people asking for JT's head on a platter in the party. JT's like, okay, how can I win back the young base? How can I? Oh, here's an idea. I'm going to sacrifice the boomers for the sake of trying to win over the young people. And people are now bringing this, like this could actually be, impro like this could come into fruition. This could be implemented in order to win over votes here the next year or so. Yeah, which is kind of wild because when you think about it, it's just another problem where you're just trying to squeeze money out of something that you shouldn't be doing that to. Because when you look at the example of my home, mm. even I'll give you that like a couple years ago, my home was valued at 350, 375,000. Now, after the crazy housing boom and the rampant population increase and, and immigration and just this crazy rush on housing, my house went up to $600,000 in valuation. It's like you look at places like Ontario and Toronto where houses that are probably only $200,000 to build are now over a million dollars just by no virtue other than the fact that outside pressures are, are doing this. And then is the government going to go, oh, your house is now valued at, you know, over a million. It's like, cool, thanks. <laughs> you know, I've been paying property tax on that valuation now for years. Are you going to remit that to me too? Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's really, really frustrating because I just look at it and say the average house price, unless you're willing to bring ha house prices down, which he's already said he's not willing to do that. Yep. Then this is just another money grab. Mm -hmm. This is, I'm looking for another way to tax the wealth out of Canadians. Absolutely. And it's the, the definition of surtax, which I think is really interesting. And the surtax is a tax applied to anything that's after tax, really. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of what happened. And, and it's the, the rate that we got to look at here is they're looking at flirting with the idea of anywhere of taxing between 0.3 to 1%, which again, doesn't seem like a whole lot, but when they're literally over the years going to keep rolling it over until it's one big sum until you sell, that can add up. That can become a lot of money. But secondly, this shouldn't even be a conversation. I don't care how much of a percentage it is. I'm not even going to start the conversation there. The conversation is, this isn't, shouldn't be a thing. I'm not going to debate over how much the percentage. Oh, I guess that seems reasonable. No, you already get an HST of 15%. You already get an income tax at ridiculous levels. Uh, we, I'm already getting property taxed. I'm already, like, well, this is the thing. I'm just saying, gone. like, even when you look at just housing, like when we bought our house, we paid taxes on mm. um, the land transfer, taxes to the lawyer, taxes um, to the municipality, taxes on the actual sale of the house itself. Like it just, it was insane yeah. how much tax have rolled into it. You know, you're looking at a house that was $600,000 and you're still paying an extra 30,000 in just taxes and fees. Yeah. It's absurd. <laughs> yeah. So they're trying to add another one on, like, do they really want to stop people from, because like the big thing that I look at is that if these boomers are selling their houses and moving into condos or moving into long-term care or moving into the other facilities, they might stay an extra year yeah. or an extra two years or an extra five in their homes because they don't want to take that hit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, so if there's any way to disincentivize that natural progression of people in homes, there you go. Throw a tax on it because they keep letting us know that the carbon tax is a disincentive for action. Why are you throwing another tax on? You're just disincentivizing people from moving houses in a market where houses need to move. Yep. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, again, nothing's official. Nothing's really happening. It's just that this conversation is boiling up again because of the pressure that's now being put on Trudeau. And he know that the Hail Marys are going to start coming for him to A, went over his party again, and also went over the people. But I think obviously right now his first thing is to try and win over his party. 
That was electric, wasn't it? Well, we enjoyed it. Hope you did too. If you did, you can check this video out here to the top right corner right near my window. Get over, get over, get over. There it is. There it is right there. And if you liked that, you can also check this one right here. We love you. Have a good one. Peace out.